Hello all, Havoc here. Alright, so in our last episode, we're just getting some things worked on, getting things done, and I'm continuing that process. Um, so... Is this thing still on? Oh, it is. Alright, so I had a few things happen. Um, make sure that door's closed. Alright. So we started digging, and yeah, look at my inventory. What's in there? Nothing but coal. Yeah. Yeah. Those are full too. Yeah. Um, got a small problem. Yeah, we're sitting on a coal mine. So I started mining all this out. And just in this area is what basically we have in our inventory and then there's a hole like there's a mine like a, a cave this is all natural and <laughs> yeah yeah there's still more down here <sighs> so um then I'd like to point out the fact it's 111 Celsius in here. 110. So I had the doors open. I had this pumping in because it's cold outside. So actually, I'm going to go ahead and do it again. We just need to be careful because if a storm comes, we got to get those doors closed pretty quick. Um, so, yeah, I turned around. I wasn't paying attention. I was downstairs. I was welding. And, uh, actually, might be better if I turned it around, huh? Because the door is a larger opening, right? Oh, yeah, that's going way faster. And poke a hole in the roof too. Huh? Uh, so what I'm doing is trying to get the temperature come down um, controllably, um, because like right now it's it's super hot in here. So <laughs> like I said I was down here just welding away. I just was not paying attention, and next thing I know, I come up here and I could see air. I was doing you know the little particle effects. We're zooming out of here, out the stairs up to here. And uh, there's like heat wave particles, like uh, on a long road kind of, you know, in the, in the summer. We're coming up through here and it was like just collecting right at the top of the stairs. There was like a little orb of heat. And at one point it was, it was hot in here. I mean, like several hundred degrees hot in here. So mistakes were made. You can see it's still pulling heat We're still at 104 degrees celsius how about in here 103 okay over by the door 98 all right we're, we're making our way so yeah it's it's been a process and i have so much stuff i mean look at this this is full And then these are full. This one I don't think I've touched yet. No, I haven't touched this one yet. So, um, yeah. And then there's all that's down there. I mean, that's full. These are full. I have so much coal. So what I'm gonna try to do is I want to try to figure out a way to use coal to kickstart the furnace. Um, I want to see if that's possible. I mean, even if we burn coal in another furnace. And then pump that into the intake of here. I, I, don't, I don't know. So yeah, I'm going to try to work on something like that. I've not looked up any tutorials on it. This is something I just kind of want to noodle out myself. But one thing I do want to do today is I want to set up the, furn the arc furnaces to do stuff for us. Like now. Because I have so many orders to process. And I'm tired of coming over here and putting 
one or in and waiting. So uh, that's what I want to work on today. So uh, I'm going to tear this apart. Basically what I want to do is I want to have um, a bank of furnaces that I can come over and put all of them in and they all eject out into one spot that the ingots will stay put in. What I really want to do is put them on that wall. So, yeah, I really do want to put them on that wall, though. Where do I put all the storage, though? I don't want to put anything near that. This printer is too close to that. Hmm. Over on the live stream... Uh, yeah, with live stream on twitchtv.com. Go ahead and check it out. Link's down below. Um, I liked my ice setup way better, so I'll probably gonna copy that and bring that over here because it's just way more convenient. Because like the ice crusher is behind the tank, and this is back here behind all this, and and also it leads to a hydroponics bay, and it, it it's just cleaner. So uh, solar that was another thing that was brought up in last comments. I'm all over the place today. Um, so what I'm probably going to do going forward when this is... Because I want to take over this whole top of this mountain, right? I want to plateau this whole thing. Uh, when I reach that point, what I'm going to probably do is take over this top floor for something else. And when I do that, the center ridge of the building, just that one block, is going to go up one. And I'll take all my solar, all of my... Um, good solar panels and I'll put them all in that single array that single line that'll be a couple few one two three four five six seven eight nine eleven as of right now so probably what 18 or 20 solar panels and I'll automate those 20 and then all the rest of them will go along the face of the building on the outside kind of like how we have them now so we'll have 20 automated, one block higher. These will all be 45 to that way. The other rest will be 45 on the other side of the building that way. So we'll have 20-ish automated, 20-ish facing north, and 20-ish facing south, or east or west, or however the poles are on this planet. Temperatures, where are we at? We're coming down. Pressure's coming down as well. Um... So I thought voxels were airtight, and you guys in comments were like, don't rely on voxels being airtight, because they probably aren't. So um, this will be my outer wall. And you see the outer wall there, outer wall there. So, yeah, I just had to stop because, well, I was trying to burn the place down. So with that being said, we're not going to be doing any welding today. Um, I need, we have one more furnace, right? Yeah. How do I want to set this up, though? I have an entire planet to myself, and I'm out of space. I think I'm taking the arc furnace, or I mean, uh, the recycler down for now. Yeah. Actually, you're going to go here. Bring this here. Six. Uh, screw gun. I need like five more lockers. Okay. That's a wrench. Drill. And a crowbar. Okay, I guess we don't get to keep our cable. Pretty sure that there's supposed to be a cables in that. That's fine. Grab our wrench. Okay. So 
So if I go two here, two here, and then we put something in the corner to the railing in the corner to hold our oars in place, that should do the trick, I think. 95C still dropping. I'm just, I'm terrified a storm's gonna come through when we have this place all opened up like this. All right. And drill. And wrench. Okay. So I wanna make two more. Uh, we don't have any iron. How much iron do you have? None. You have a little bit. You have a little bit more. All right. Arc furnace, it's going to take all of iron. Let's go grab some more from down here. Feeling bad about this wall now. I want to use this wall to run our wiring and stuff through, but it just isn't working out that way. Might just tear it down if it does. If I don't end up using it the way I want to, I'm just going to go ahead and tear it apart. There we go. Okay, you gotta listen for that because I don't want to make three. I want to make two. Get this all put back in here. Better. Okay, another thing I want to look up today is, I don't know where it's made. Um, put this up here. F1, there's a thing called a silo. And I'm gonna look at doing this because it takes so, so much. Electric printer, uh, gold, copper, and steel. Okay, uh, because um, we have so much coal, I can make a silo to hold all our coal, basically. So, I really wish this was over one more block. Well, it's empty down below. I can do that now. So, I would like to do this, too. Uh, It's almost done. I just don't want to waste the iron. Because until <laughs> until these get set back up, we don't have any way to smelt. So uh, I want to look at this real quick, though. Uh, this is why I want to move this. SDB silo. Um, make one. How much do we have? Okay. So I'm going to take this and set this up, and this will be part of what I want to get done today as well. Because I want to get to the point where we can take all that coal and just put it into one place. Because that's a lot of coal. And if we can get to the point where we can start getting maybe one of these set up for each item, and we start stockpiling things, that'd be kind of nice. Maybe that's what we can use for downstairs is uh, all of our uh, bulk items. So that's going to take a minute. All right. Okay, so they can right about there. Or not. Oh, there's cables in the way. 
All right, let's get that tour out first. Any second now, that's gonna finish. Okay. Oh, geez. <laughs> any second? No. Not any second now. All right. Uh, cables. And thanks for the viewer comment explaining that you can run large cable into small cable as long as you're not merging one off of the other. It works. That's good to know. All right. So I will definitely be utilizing that going forward. All right. So uh, let's clean this up a little bit. Better. better okay now I want to put you I want to be far enough forward oh wait no I don't I have to have it far enough forward because I can run the shoots through the back Oh, come on, Havoc. In fact, that is exactly what I'm going to do. Because that's what that whole thing's supposed to be for in the back anyway, so. And then, all right, let's grab some rails. I think, did we already make some? I thought I did. No. Uh, crate, kit railing. One, two, Three. Let's go with four. And you, Jack. Thank you. I like the three bar one. Okay, and can we only do the outer edges? Yeah. Um. Well, what I was going to do was try to put one coming out right here, but you can't place them anywhere but on the edges. I'm curious, can you... No. Can't lay them on their side. So we do something like this. Yeah, I don't know. That's just. Because if I put them to where I capture it here, then. Hold on, let's take this back out. So if I came over here, right? Oh, let's take this out too. Well, let's say I did like an airdrop. And they all went into that. Oh, that's not too bad.
Yeah, it's not bad at all. Okay. Let's go with that. And... Cable. And I still have everything open, so I still got to keep that in mind. Not a 70C. I think I can safely go ahead and close up shop a little bit. Because again, it's making me nervous that one of those, you know, 14 hour storms are going to come through and just wreck everything. All right, let's get our uh, wire cutters back. So that's that, and then I need to run this back through here because we have that, uh, oh, hold on, I need to, um, how's that gonna work? Can I do something like, Power low. that's fine. I don't think I'm going to be able to it will do it right here. Doesn't want to let us run a cable through there. We'll do it here. Okay, so what we're trying to do is get a, a cable back there to run that light because it does not appear to want to let us run a cable. The direction I want. Hmm, what if I jet back in there? So if it did something like that. It doesn't let me in there. Uh, check back off. Can I just vault. <laughs> kind of in a really bad spot right now. <laughs> Yeah, that doesn't want to, yeah, that hitbox and that hitbox are stopping it from happening, so, all right. Um, before I die, because that's something that could totally happen doing that kind of shenanigans. Okay, so... I had plenty of cable if I didn't put all that shenanigans in the in, up, back in that corner. Uh, jet back off. Cut all of this out. Cut that out. Can I reach that one? Yeah, buddy. Okay. There we go. OK, 
Okay, lights back on. Let's place this back in here. Oh, wrong one. Alright, so then you guys... Obviously you're right there, and you're obviously right there. And I obviously need a lot more tubing. Bunk. Oh, shoot. Make it. Make it happen, Captain. All right. So. I have no idea what they'll stack to. But basically, we're going to make it till we run out of iron. And we really don't have any more iron left. We got that five pieces right there. Let's go check downstairs. We might have a couple. Let's change our battery. It's complaining. There. Better? Better. Might have a couple more pieces way back over here in this corner. Copper. No, it's copper nickel. All right. some iron there okay yeah it was, it was interesting like i said i was down here i was welding and i think i was like welding this strip right here and then i realized that out of this was venting up like super hard and i was like uh that's not good are you done you're done what did you give me like 10? 7. That's not even close to being enough. Alright, I gotta get one of these up and running so we can make iron. And Pikachu, I choose you. Alright, so you. Uh, to do the windowed one? Yeah, because they look cool. Oh, come on, get on there. Oh, no, they take two. Never mind, we're not using the windowed one. We need to... We can reevaluate that later. And rotate. Perfect. What am I? How many have we got? Two left. One. And we don't have enough. Um, so I guess we're just going to do a straight. I don't no idea what's going to happen if we do that. Will it dispense out of that and just drop it there? Let's find out. Yay. All right, cool. So let me take that, put that into here. More, or more things, please. Two more. <laughs> Alright, so basically what I want to do is I want to junction these all together. Actually, it would be cool just to have all four pipes coming out right there, wouldn't it? Oop, not what I wanted. Okay. 
Yeah, I think I like that idea better. Other than just kind of like, bleh. So if we brought this one up and over, over to this and alongside this one, it comes out literally right next to that one. I want to have them come out one more further out though, like that. And then these two do the same thing. So they'll come out like right there. And this will just fill up whole ingots. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so we need more iron though. Um, so here, here, uh, drills already on there. This goes here. This tool belt, mining belt is full. Uh, I think that's going to bring us to the next thing we need to do then. So that's really not going to work for us is this guy. So how about it, man? <laughs> Oh, he's a big boy. Um, so power comes in from the side, data on the other side, input there, and outputs in the back. That's a lot of shoots we'd have to make. And it's like a lot of sheets too, steel sheets to make this. Oh man, the floor is gonna be perfect height and that's too far f back. We need to bring that forward. Um, switch, drill. Um, so yeah, what this guy's gonna have to go like here. Because we'll have to bring a chute out the back. Man, for one for basically every ingredient, or that's gonna be a lot of space. Wow. Well, I got an entire planet to myself, right? Uh, let's deconstruct. What do I take to weld you up? Uh, welding torch and 10 steel sheets. Okay, that's kind of expensive. I think we have what? Six? We have four right there. That's for the uh, recycler, though. So we don't have any more steel made right now. And no more steel sheets. Um, yeah, let's see, um, Bueller, I guess I'm going to just have to go mine by hand for now, because we need the iron to finish the furnaces. It has some room in it, right? No, it does not. It has no room in it. Uh, there's a little bit of room in this locker up here. Oh, we have this entire locker here. Okay, we're good. Just... I think I have a purpose for the coal. That's why I'm saving it. I think I do. I just... I need to do a little research and a, a little noodling. I, I think I can, I think I have a purpose for the coal. That's why I haven't tossed it out yet. Because otherwise, yeah, I would have been like, yeet, put a container, blow it up. Okay, we're just after iron. I have so much of all the other resources that it's just, uh, no. I 
That's copper, that's copper. No, I didn't want that. I think that's the end of that iron vein. Oh, but wait, there's more. Yeah, buddy, give me that iron. So, making progress, making progress. If I just collect iron, I'd be happy. No coal. I mean, copper is okay, but I mean, we already have. <laughs> Stacks of copper and get smelted. <laughs> it's like playing Minesweeper. Classic uh, video game. If you guys don't know what that is, go check it out. <laughs> I have to look and see if it's on Steam. That was a joke, by the way. Um, oh, yeah, keep giving me more iron. Anything but coal. Not anything but coal. I don't need uh, nickel either. Oh my goodness. For the little use that we have for, for nickel, uh, we basically have all the nickel we'll ever need. Alright, so you. Go. So I just plop. So in theory, I can be like, pop, 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 pop. I can do four stacks at once. Look at that. That'd be almost my entire inventory worth of iron getting smelted up. Come on, buddy. Actually, you know, if we put doors all the way around this, or a wall, glass walls all the way around this, and one door, we could have a tour. We could walk in, open up the door, walk in, just pick up the stuff. That'd be kind of nice. Uh, eventually, you can do auto sorting and all kinds of shenanigans. That's like way down the line though. Flop. All right, buddy, get to it. If I just turn this off, what happens? No. Okay. It's not good. <laughs> All right. More arm. This here, grab you, put you in there. What do you add for iron now? 73. That's gonna be good for a minute. Alright, so jetpack. Oh, let's grab these. There we go. This is cost us a little bit extra, but I think it's gonna look cool. Great. Oh my goodness. There we go. There we 
go, jetpack, hop over. Dink. And you go. There we go, I like it. How much you out to? <laughs> um, okay, that was violent. <laughs> so I guess we're at 13? Yeah, alright. So now we can turn you on, like so, and you can make that. I like it. All right, so then let's get this guy routed. Actually, hold on. I don't want to over make too many. Uh, we're going to need them anyway, so it's fine. Just make it. If we have to, we'll recycle them down. All right, so you rotate up. Up. Hunger. Caution. Okay, good to know. Thank you. I was good, kind of hungry. Perfect. I think. Let's find out. Let's bring this out. One more. Yes, perfect. That's how I want it to be. Get up right there. Thank you. Okay, nothing in there. You're out of iron. Oh, you're low on iron. <laughs> you're anemic. All right, let's get this going back here. Let's take this guy down. Take one down and pass it around. And come on, get in there. All right, that'll about do it. Sweet. You put one straight in, and we're done. Yes, we can. We can smelt four stacks. At the same time. All goes in the same spot. <laughs> I like it. Alright, so put this in here. So for the sake of shenanigans. Let's do some copper. Yay! 
That's awesome. Got four stacks going at the same time. This is going to need its own power branch. <laughs> going to have to bring its own group of power off of the batteries over here. Uh, now this is what I'm talking about. Oh, this is great. I love it. How much more time we got on this? Halfway through it. I guess I should have put something other than copper in there, but... Uh, yeah, buddy. All right. All that heat. We, we have a leak, obviously, down here because you can see the heat is all... All the air is transferring right down into that hole. Where is our temperatures at in here? Oh, we're still relatively okay. I mean, it's still warm in here, don't get me wrong. Uh, but on the plus side, I mean, all we have to do is pressurize this room now. It's, it's toasty. Speaking of, we need to eat something here. Um, five. What do we have for food? We have part of a baked potato. Let's eat it. That'll do for now. I want to see this pop. 12 more ingots to go. I think I'm going to do the room with the door. Do glass walls and a glass door. And then we'll put a, a roof on it. So the advantage to that is if a storm does come through and I happen to have my doors open and stuff, that all stays in there. It doesn't take damage because I have ingots that have damage. Um, I had ingots <laughs> because oh. <laughs> yeah, there it is. <laughs> all right, we're gonna wrap it up there. Thanks for coming out and supporting the channel. I appreciate you guys being here. I hope you all enjoyed the show. This is Havoc. Have fun and keep gaming.